being alone is what I'm practicing right now. I'm, I'm in my healing journey right now. I got out of relationship and I haven't went to another one because I'm aware and I'm conscious to the fact and to the, to the known knowing that I am not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I have to I have to be alone in order to learn how to truly love me for me. Welcome back all my guys and goddesses. It is your goddess Connie and we are back on our journey to free minds. As you can see, I am outside enjoying the nature and I've been wanting to do this all summer and so I finally am here. So I'm excited to see how this goes. Um, I do want to apologize in advance for the outside voices. And so we're gonna get into it. Um, I'm gonna definitely continue doing something like this if it goes well. And I'll also be investing in a mic here soon. So bear with me on this journey to free minds. So before we get into it, we're gonna start with our mantra. Let me go ahead and pull that up. Okay, everyone, make sure to remember to repeat after me. I'm going to say one line at a time, and then you guys can repeat. I am everything, and everything is me. I use the powers of my mind, tongue, and thoughts to receive and attract the desires I already possess. I am grateful for my journey to success. Therefore, I will not fear milestones because they are only a step towards success. I am abundant and prosperous like a fruit tree. So for that, I thank God, Allah, Elohim, Yahweh, and the universe for all knowledge that I turn into wisdom to enlighten myself and everyone around me. Ashe, Asheyo, Amen. So, um, my past week has been, I had a good week. 
nothing crazy happened. You know, I'll be having some crazy stuff going on. But nothing really um, eventful happened um, other than just living my life, which I'm grateful for. And so I just want to get straight into this topic because it is, it's a, it's a deep thing, you know. Um, the topic is abandonment. People have, you know, experienced this trauma as a child, and a lot of times today as adults, we deal with we deal with the effects of this trauma. There can be physical and mental abandonment. Abandonment doesn't just have to be in the physical form. A lot of us, when we think of abandonment, we think of physical abandonment. We never talk about the mental abandonment. Any topic that I speak on here, um, I feel as if I can speak on it because I've experienced it. I've experienced the trauma. I've experienced how to heal from the trauma. I've, I'm experiencing the healing from the trauma. And so, I've experienced, you know, my own form of abandonment, right? And so, I just wanted to really just dig deep on this topic, as deep as, as, deep as we can go, just to bring awareness and to give you a new perspective on how to deal with this and how to heal from it. Because if you don't know, we're on our journey to free minds. We're on a journey to free our minds from the our imprisoned thoughts and our imprisoned way of thinking, right? So this is what we're here for. Now, what happens to the mind during trauma? Psychologically, what happens? Our mind will either make us forget the trauma that we endured as a child, or we will then start to project this trauma out into our physical lives. And so, that's why sometimes you'll see people be like, they don't remember parts of their childhood. Well, that's because there was trauma there. There was trauma in, in that childhood or in that moment. And so your mind will make you forget. It's still there back in your subconscious. It's not like it's gone. It's still there back in your subconscious, but your, your frontal lobe, it's not going to be able to come up to the frontal lobe as a remembrance. Like, oh, I remember that. I remember that. I have um, one. I have one of my own traumas that I had to look at myself and say, "Well, why do I act this way? Or why do I do this?" And so I had to dig deep on a childhood trauma that I very much so remember, but it wasn't connecting as far as in this trauma is what caused me to act this way. This specific situation. And so I had to dig it up. Digging it up is not um, an easy thing to do. It's hard. It's hard to dig up old trauma. But that is a way of healing. Becoming aware. Becoming aware of the trauma. Right? And so either that will happen or your body will then become extremely stressed, right? Or your body will, you have a lot of anxiety in, in certain moments of your life. Or you will just project that situation out into a physical manner, into your physical life, right? And 
once you project that into your physical life, It's a, it's a way, it's a form of self-sabotaging. You will then start to, you know, self-sabotage yourself in so many different ways that you don't understand. And a lot of people, you know, self-sabotage because of these traumas and they don't understand that there's certain things about you that needs to be healed. We gotta be healed, you know? And today, We have a lot of imprisoned way of thinking, an imprisoned mind, and how we think. And so I'm here to help free the minds of my people because I love me and I love you. And so back to what I was saying about abandonment. You can be physically abandoned, you know. That happens a lot. But let's talk about mental abandonment. Mentally becoming abandoned. You can have, you know, people in your life physically, but mentally they're just not there for you. Mentally, they can't be there for you because they have their own issues and their own traumas that they're dealing with from their childhood. People mentally check out all the time. All the time. And it's not that it's, you know, an unhuman thing to do. We all check out mentally. We all have that, right? And so, I don't see us talking about mental abandonment. You can mentally abandon someone for so long that you're there, but you're really not there. They can't speak to you. They can't confide in you. They can't express themselves to you. What's worse than to have someone there but not be there. That person, you know, will then start to feel all alone with physical and with mental abandonment, you know. You will start to feel all alone like there's just no one there for you. And some issues that you may have becoming an adult would be becoming codependent. Whenever you get into relationships, you become codependent. I've had um, a few of uh, relationships where, you know, I was told at the end of the relationships that I was too codependent. So I'm like, no, that's not me. I'm not codependent, right? And then so I ended up going into other relationships with that awareness. Of course, in a bit of a denial, but with that awareness of saying like, I'm not codependent, but then my actions, how I started to feel in these relationships validated the fact that maybe I am a little codependent. Nothing's wrong with depending on your partners, right? Nothing is wrong with that. But it should be a balance of being able to depend on yourself, right? And so what codependency looks like is it's like if you you kind of depend on your partner solely for your happiness. You're only happy when you know that you are together. You're only happy and you feel fulfilled and you feel whole 
when everything is good. And then soon something bad happens. You you lose yourself. You lose yourself completely. You don't even know who you are without them. You've associated your life and your personality and everything about you to being with them. You just can't seem to be happy when you are without them. And so whenever you are without them, you can't even see yourself or know who you are. You feel like you can never be alone. It's hard for you to go places by yourself. Going to the movies or out to eat or just anywhere. Some people have it really bad where they can't even go to the grocery store by themselves. Like, you have to feel someone's presence with you or that person's presence with you when you are codependent. When you become codependent, a lot of times you tend to people please. And that was me. I would people please my partner or partner please my partner in a way of I would do anything to keep you here. I would do anything. And so a lot of times we will think that that is what love is, to do anything. And that's not love. That's not love at all. That's far from love, honestly. You know? And then at that moment, you then, you know, lose respect for yourself, for others. And when I say that's far from love, that's because you cannot truly 100% love yourself when you only find happiness and wholeness when you're with your partner. And I don't mean with your partner physically, when you are conscious and aware of the fact that you and your partner are in a relationship and everything is good, as soon as something bad happens and you break up or you're going through a rough time, you will feel as if it's just the end of the world. Sometimes it'll be hard for you to not be in a relationship. Sometimes you will, you will feel like you have to go from one relationship to another. Being alone is like the worst to you. Because you've been abandoned, either mentally or physically, being alone is just not something that you feel you can do. And with this trauma, you feel the need to always receive validation. Either that be from your partners, your parents, your loved ones, family, just the people in your life, you will feel as if you need a yes or no, or it's okay, or you are beautiful, or you can do this.
you need a validation from other people. You never get that validation from yourself. Now, I can, you know, be honest and tell you all that I've experienced this. I've experienced all these symptoms of feeling like I have to be with someone. Feeling like I need to be in the good graces of my partner. People pleasing. Losing myself completely. Not having any form of self identity. Not knowing who I am. I've been to all those places. I've been there. I've experienced that pain. And it's not fun. It's not fun at all. And so, after, you know, People told me, like, you were a little bit too codependent, and I was in denial. I was able to see it in my relationships moving forward. My most recent relationship, I will not tell you guys who, but it was up and downs all the time to the point where... Whenever there was a down, I would completely lose myself. I would lose myself so bad to the point where, you know, you can't eat, you can't sleep, you can't think straight. You don't want to do nothing. You don't want to be here. You don't want to live anymore. All because... I didn't have love for myself. I didn't have my own identity without this person. That relationship has taught me a lot. I'm thankful for that relationship because I would not be where I'm at today without that relationship. How am I healing? How am I healing from this trauma? Well, the first thing that I did was find the root, dig deep into my childhood to have a better understanding of why do I need to feel this way why is this trauma projecting out into my physical life I had to think back on all the moments that I felt abandoned either physically or mentally sit with that child sit with her and tell her hey girl you are not alone You're not alone. Because God is always with you. Your higher self is always with you. You are with you. 
I had to sit with her and tell her that. Tell her that. It's okay. Don't be angry. Don't be upset with the ones who have caused this trauma. And I don't want to make excuses for people, but nine times out of ten, you know, they had their trauma as well. Being alone is what I'm practicing right now. I'm, I'm in my healing journey right now. I got out of a relationship and I haven't went to another one because I'm aware and I'm conscious to the fact and to the, to the known knowing that I am not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I have to. I have to be alone in order to learn how to truly love me. For me. Taking this time to learn who I am. <laughs> what is it that I'm even here to do? You know? Taking that time to truly figure out me. What it is I like. What I don't like. In sitting with that understanding that I'm getting to know me you know how you get in a relationship and you gotta get to know your partner you gotta get to know you first get to know you who are you who are you you have a purpose here and it is your job to figure that out find that out who are you not a lot of us can answer that question about who who am I and we feel lost when we can't answer that question and so that's why it's, it's imperative that we take this time to be alone to get to know ourselves To be vulnerable with ourselves and to be honest, to be brutally honest. I have to learn to accept me and all my flaws. Learn to truly just embrace myself. While I'm being brutally honest to myself about myself, I have to embrace those things that I just don't like about me. I, um, I go places by myself. Um, I will go, you know, out to eat by myself, or I'll go to the movies by myself. I can go to grocery stores, I can go, you know, regular stores by myself. I've, you know, developed that within me, that I can do that, I can sit by myself. And I think that that's very powerful. 
it's very powerful to be able to go places on your own. So that's something that I had to learn to do. And with sitting by myself, being by myself, coming outside like this, being in nature, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Because I'm learning me. And I think one of the biggest thing of all that I had to understand to help me on this journey is to understand, understand, and overstand that I am a God. I am. Let's just give that a moment real quick. You are a God. Think about it. Just let that resonate with you. That you are a God. With understanding that and with knowing that and becoming aware of that, you should understand and know that it's very powerful and deadly at the same time. It's powerful and deadly because God's God created everything. But what else did he do? He destroyed it all once before. And he'll do it again. So if you are a God, I'm a God. I can create anything. I can do anything. But I can also destroy anything. I can destroy everything. And so with this awareness, for me, it was a switch in my mind that told me, you are a goddess. You are a goddess. You've been imprisoned with your mind to the point that you use your God abilities to create this lack of love for yourself. You use these God abilities to create this pain in your life. And I'm not saying that you actually created it as far as and you intentionally created it. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that when you're unaware of your power, your own power will be used against you. Your own power will be used against you. And so once you gain that awareness, once I gain that awareness of, hold on, I'm a God, I can either create or destroy. And so this whole time I've been destroying myself with my, with my God powers, I can't keep doing that. I have to switch it up. I have to free my mind. I have to move like a prosperous, like, I, like I'm prosperous and like I'm abundant. I have to move that way because my reality that's been manifested with the misuse of my powers unaware uh, you know me being unaware has created a life where I feel 
codependent in relationships, where I lose myself in relationships, where I cannot love myself or truly fully be happy unless I'm in a relationship. Realizing that you are a God and freeing your mind, it's not easy. But the rewards are so abundant and so beautiful, you can't even put them into words. Your reward doesn't just come at the end. Your reward is the journey. Your reward is waking up. That initial moment of freeing your mind. So with all that being said, you have a choice. You have a choice whether you want to stay imprisoned by your own mind or you can free your mind. You can free your mind. Some people say that you never heal, you're just healing. When in all actuality, you can't heal. You can be healed. Neurologically, your brain, when you are healing, your brain connects new neurons and disconnects old neurons. Those old neurons of that past self that you don't want to be no more. And then it creates new neurons of, of your higher self. So you can't heal. I just wanted to throw that out there. You can't heal. And so, I'm gonna leave y'all with that. I'm gonna leave y'all with that. And know that you have a choice. You've watched this video all the way to the end. And so if you've had this trauma happen to you, you have a choice whether you want to remain imprisoned or free your mind. Free your mind. And so with that, I wanna thank everyone for being here with me today for doing this with me, for watching this video all the way to the end. All my um, new gods and goddesses, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. All my, all my gods and goddesses that have been here from the beginning, thank you. I love you. And like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've had this trauma or if you don't want to tell me in the comments, DM me on Instagram, and we can talk about it. We can talk about how you can heal from this. We can talk about it. Or let me know just some things that you feel as if can help someone else heal from this trauma. Let me know. And I will see you all next time on our journey to free minds.